my newborn twins <gasps> disappeared in the middle of the night. <sighs> See? Our kids! They are gone! What kids? We don't have any, dear. I didn't know what my husband was talking about. I still felt pain in my body after childbirth. And my breasts were full of milk. I had to feed my boys. But neither them nor their stuff were there. No toys. No clothes. I tried to call the police, yet Sam wouldn't let me do it. <sighs> Instead, he gave me some calming tea. He also started telling me about home births. And that when complications occurred, the babies couldn't be saved. That's not true. I took hundreds of photos of my babies. However, upon clicking the gallery on my phone, there was not a single picture. I wanted to wake up from that terrible dream. but ended up falling asleep right in the kitchen. I woke up in my bed. My breasts were no longer full as if the milk had disappeared. Mm -hmm. My husband was acting very strangely when I walked back into the kitchen. Hmm? What do you have there? Are you hiding something from me? No, no, never mind. Oh, hmm. It must be the doctor. Come on. Sam said he was concerned about my mental health and that he called a psychiatrist he knew. She will help you accept the pain of losing your children. I didn't lose them! They were stolen from me! Mm -hmm. She's been like this all night long. Keeps crying that her children went missing. Even asked me to call the police. <gasps> Pretty much confusing what she wishes with what is real. Dr. Rama, a friend of my husband's, conducted an examination. The looks they gave each other seemed odd to me. Plus, as weird as it may sound, she smelled very much like my son. I pretended to go to the bathroom, but checked Sam's briefcase instead. What my husband was hiding there shocked me. It was my breast milk! Lisa, what are you… What the hell, Sam? Did you pump my milk while I was sleeping? Where are my kids? You will now fall into a slumber and forget everything you saw in the briefcase. I woke up in the psychiatrist's car. Actually, I didn't fall asleep at all. I just faked it to make it look like the hypnosis worked. Darling, you are the best, as always. You can hypnotize anyone, not just me. That's how I found out that my husband had a mistress. 
Still, I didn't care about that. I had to find my boys. When we stopped, I hoped to see them, but... <gasps> that stupid student with a genetic predisposition for having twins has given us what we wanted. Now we can finally get rid of her and be together again. I'll take her into the clinic while you go feed the kids. And remember, one gets everything that is good, the other gets the opposite. Even though I craved revenge, I had to find my babies first. <gasps> Therefore, I kept the hypnosis facade up. Dr. Rama prescribed me the strongest medication possible, which what? would quickly turn me into a cabbage. She only expected me to wake up after snapping her fingers in front of me. So, she was very relaxed. My priority was to find the doctor's car as soon as possible. Hmm. Also, learn where my husband was before she could contact him. After that, I called the police and went to meet my cheater with them. However, when we got there, we didn't see my children. My wife is crazy. She ran away from the clinic. <laughs> and our kids. We lost them during childbirth. Dr. Rama, who was unfortunately released, confirmed it. She can't accept her misfortune and blames us. The police believed the professor and the psychiatrist over me, a student. Desperate, I started shouting, calling out my mm -hmm. son's names. Sean! Carter! It's me, your mommy! Where are you, my darlings? It's your mom! Mommy! Mom is here! Only a miracle could help me in that moment. And it did. My boys were there, in the basement, inside a room behind a secret door. The police arrested Sam and his accomplice. It seemed that they wanted to perform a crazy experiment on the twins. One would be raised with love and fed breast milk, while the other would be deprived of emotional connection and given formula. That was supposed to be a unique study on parenting. You've ruined hmm. everything. Dr. Rama was infertile, so Sam chose me. A student who had twins in her family. It feels amazing to know that those crazy experimenters are behind bars. Now I can live in peace and raise both of my sons in an atmosphere of joy and love. Remember, being a mother is learning about strengths you didn't know you had as well as dealing with fears.
you never knew existed.